Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing good. This is Mark Wheeler. Just going to uh, talk to you some more about some Bible, Bible translations, things of that nature. Uh, I want to talk about some verses actually. So today I'll, I'll just talk about one verse. This is the verse I usually go to when I, when I pick up a, a translation I've never seen before. Uh, I go to this verse. Acts chapter 8, verse 37. Now, uh, you could be looking in your Bible right now and seeing if your Bible has it. Um, my King James Bible does, and uh, I think New King James, some of these others do. Uh, but what does it say? Well, Acts chapter 8, remember the story of the Ethiopian eunuch. He's coming back from Jerusalem. He'd been up there to worship. He was a Jewish proselyte. And he's coming back. The Lord sends Philip over there in the middle of the desert uh, and has him to wait on this man in this chariot going back to Ethiopia. And uh, he's got a scroll. He, he's a Jewish proselyte, like I said. He's got a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. And he's reading Isaiah, what we call Isaiah 53. And um, he's wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes were healed. And he goes into the part about uh, uh, he's led as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before shears is done. And, and he's, he's going through that, and, and uh, Philip walks up, and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I except some man should guide me? Well, uh, so Philip climbs up in the chariot and uh, preaches Jesus to him out of the text. And uh, they're going along in this chariot. All of a sudden they come up on some water and the Ethiopian eunuch said, See, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? He'd heard about baptism. He knew from his Jewish religion that baptisms have to do with washings. And uh, uh, here he is. He sees this water. And he said, why can't I be baptized? Well, thir verse 37 is explains salvation, the plainest of, of probably any verse uh, in, in the book of Acts. Philip looked at him and said, if thou believest with all thine heart thou mayest and he answered and said I believe Jesus Christ is the son of God and then they both went down verse 39 they, or 30, 38 yeah 38 they both go down the next verse anyway they, they go both go down into the water and he baptized him by the way they went down into the water he didn't reach down and get a handful and throw it on him and say you're baptized no because to be baptized is to be immersed but uh, anyway uh, this verse is uh, under attack uh, these modern translations won't use it why? Well, they'll tell you, and I've read, I've read a bunch of stuff on it. They'll tell you, well, it's not in the oldest and best manuscripts. What they consider the oldest and the best manuscripts is two little minute pieces of manuscripts that have been tampered with that were some old manuscripts because they weren't being used and uh, the Vaticanus and the Sinaiticus. It all goes back to that. And they'll say, well, it wasn't used in some of the others and this, that, and the other. Well, it's in the old original Latin, which was translated in the first century out of Greek. It's there. So it's there. I read an article earlier that the guy plainly said Luke didn't write it down. And I thought, well, was you looking over Luke's shoulder when Luke wrote the book of Acts? Because some scholar told him that the oldest and best manuscripts do not contain this verse, then automatically he says Luke didn't write it down. 
He don't know. It's preserved. That's why the doctrine of preservation that we've talked about for so long is so important. We either believe God preserved it or we don't. You don't have to be a Greek scholar and go go uh, study textual criticism to know if you just believe that God said, listen, he exalted his word above all his name. He's preserved his word. He said, my word shall not pass away. If you believe that, then trust his word. And, and you're going to have to find out which one is his word. Well, I don't like uh, Bibles that take away. And listen, they always say, well, it's taking out the these and thous. No, they're not. Just like this verse, they're taking out the salvation of a soul. This Ethiopian eunuch, this, this, this Ethiopian man is coming back down across the desert. And Philip leads him to the Lord. And he said, if thou believest with all thine heart. That's the only time you can get baptized. If you, if you believe with all your heart, you can. And he said, he confessed. For with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. He said, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And then they both go down in the water and he baptizes them and they go on their way. If you want to think that's not in there, that's okay. But you're going to find out one of these days when we get to heaven, it's in God's Bible. It really is. It really is. Because it's so important. All these eggheads... James White and all these guys is constantly trying to destroy the King. You ever notice they never try to destroy any other Bible but the King James Bible. That's the one they hate because that's the one God uses. <laughs> oh, look at it. Study it out. Oh, they'll say, well, it's not in this manuscript. It's not in that minuscule. It's not in that minuscule blah 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 well it's in the old original Latin that was translated from the original listen and they say uh, it wasn't in the originals how do they know they've never seen the originals originals have been gone for centuries I've never seen them no God preserved his word the majority text if he preserves his word he preserved it through that the majority and listen those King James translators had had uh, all these different versions to look at. All the early, early, early versions, the Syriac and the, the uh, they don't want to talk about that one either, by the way, these, these, these guys. They don't want to talk about the that uh, the Peshitta and all of that. They don't want to talk about those. Those are early, early, early Bibles. Early Bibles. And they all contain this stuff. They don't like to talk about that. No, they want to go to the Greek and say, well, you know, the originals, when they don't even have the originals. They've never seen the originals. They've never seen nobody that's seen somebody that's seen somebody that's seen somebody that had the originals. But, listen, I believe it. It's in my Bible. I'm not changing. I'm not going to change. We're going to, going to come up with some of these verse, verses and deal with some of these verses uh, not spend very long at a time, maybe 10, 15 minutes at a time. But uh, uh, if, you, if you like what we're doing, like what we're talking about, listen, I'm just an old country boy that's studied his Bible, okay? I'm nothing great. There's nothing great about me. But what I do know, I want to pass it on, try to teach others, and uh, try to be a help to others. And uh, I don't want to cast doubt on the Bible. Satan's the one always cast doubt, and any human that casts doubt on the Bible is being influenced by Satan. I don't care how many doctor's degrees he's got. Man, I got a doctor's degree. I do. Uh, I got a. I got a. Honor, it ain't an honorary doctor. It's a, it's a working doctor. And uh, man, you know, I'm in the Bible college. I teach you a Bible college. But hey, it's not about that. It's about God's word. And trying to protect it, trying to preserve it, and trying to help people to realize you can trust your Bible. Get you a King James Bible and just believe it. Just read it and believe it. 
Well, I don't understand these and that. Boy, if you can't understand that, you need to go back to school. These and thous help you understand uh, singularity, plur plurality, things of that nature. Jesus told Nicodemus, Marvel not that I said unto thee, singular, ye, plural, must be born again. Now, tell me how you can improve on that with you and you. You can't. So, let's, uh, let's study the Bible together. And we're going to go through a few of these verses, and we're going to get into studying how to study the Bible uh, without using the Greek manuscripts. How just to study your Bible. So uh, we're going to be getting into that. But we're going to go through a few of these verses first and uh, show you some things. But anyway, if you like us, uh, subscribe. And uh, if not, that's fine too. It's a free country. Where, uh, used to be anyway. I'll tell you later.